brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the cabin. No Brecky Pedigree this day. Wheeler and Lecter with you on your Wednesday morning. Good morning. Ooh, Welcome to Mornings at the Cabin. I know. Baby. I came in a little hot. <laughs> um, almost a brecky penalty. Well, because I had to... I drove away, and I realized I had to turn all the way back Uh-oh. and uh, put the garbage out on the, on the uh, street. Oh, you forgot to take the garbage out. take the garbage out. Like mm. a 12-year-old hopping on his bike to go play with his friends, and he gets all the way down the street and hears his mom calling, Get back here! But that was in my brain. Well, at least you didn't spill any garbage juice on your pants. Yes, that's... I think. Very true. I don't. I haven't had a chance to look you over. How's it going that happened over last there? week, actually. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Uh, the garbage was leaking. Oh, so I pulled no. it out. It was leaking all over the bottom, uh, and it was bad. It was bad. Uh, One of those days. You had to clean up the entire kitchen because... Of it. You didn't get glad bags, did you? No, I had glad bags. Oh, you can't think. depend on them, apparently. I have no idea what kind of bags I get. I don't get the Frank bags from Canadian Tire. I'll tell you that much. That's a little frank. I don't. Well, I'm just saying. I don't. I, there's something about. I know we're all programmed to do this, but there's something about a brand name that you're just kind of like, yeah, I'll take that over Frank. <laughs> That's all. That's What's all wrong with Frank. Well, I don't know. I don't know why. Why is Canadian Tire label its stuff that way? That's the Canadian Tire brand is Frank. Oh, okay. They yeah. don't sell Glad. Well, no, stuff they do. There. Oh. But I mean, they have their own brand. Frank. Oh, Frank. Frank. That's just a good blue collar name. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Frank. Frank. You know Frank's going to take care of business. <laughs> That's right. Frank's strong enough to take out the garbage. Give it to Frank. <laughs> um, big show. Big show today. He's going to be here soon at some point if you're a wrestling fan. Uh, no, but we got Clams and Moose coming in a little later on. They are celebrating their one-year anniversary. Yeah. Clams and moose anniversary. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Mornings at the Cabin, no doubt, Spiderwebs, and new lyrics to that song that I'll never unhear, thanks to Lecter, and I'm going to give them to you. Uh, no matter who calls, i got to scream my balls off. Yeah, that's that's it. I don't I'll, even know what the actual lyrics are. Um, i got to screen my phone calls. Oh! <laughs> Wait, when did that song come out? Like they, mid-90s? Uh, yeah, but you can still screen your did phone you screen calls. screen phone calls back then? Well, yeah, so how you would screen a phone call back then, you probably had caller ID in 95 somewhere. Right. And you had but to, you, like, pay for it or something. Yeah, of course, you still yeah. do. Ugh. I mean, you know that on your cell phone you got to pay for it. No, like that. Yeah, I just don't answer any it. phone calls. That's, it. that's exactly right. So that's how you're screening your phone calls. So <laughs> if you didn't have uh, caller ID back in the day, you'd wait for the machine to take it, right? right? And you'd yes. listen and you'd be like, I don't want to talk about Britain. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Not calling them back. So that would be the screening. If you didn't have the caller ID, you'd wait until the answering machine picked up, and then you'd know. You and know what the it... phone companies can't charge you for? What? Screaming your balls off. Screaming your balls off. They'd prefer you didn't. So. Yeah, pal. Not um, the phone. Yeah. Well, I used to have on my uh, my answering machine, I used to have my own line, right, in high school, in my in my room. What? You were Be- one of those kids? I was one of those kids because uh, my dad was just like, I am just sick of all these girls calling you oh, all the bad. time. Yeah. You're always mm. tying up the phone line, chatting with girls. Yeah. I was such a stud. Um, not really the case. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so Did you got call me it a- the bro line? Did you have a name for it? Like the bat line or something? Uh no 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 I didn't no uh, I think I still remember line. the I think it's I think it was six six nine five two three six was my number I think that's what it was or six nine two seven maybe six nine two seven the 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 fun side in me would like to imagine that if you call that number now it goes somewhere fun but it probably does I think it's six nine two seven I'm trying to like do you, do you, can you remember the the number you had when you were a kid Oh we've had the same house number <laughs> for as long as I've been alive of course. Yeah. What is it uh, Tell everybody right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my number which is no longer attached to anyone i know eight seven three eight three seven two that was our that was our house line yeah yeah and i think yeah six six nine five two three six was my personal line anyway it's funny uh, not to like go on and on about this let's go on and on about all right it, let's I mean. go on and on <laughs> absolutely it is funny though how you know in this day and age with uh, the smartphone era you just like you don't have numbers you have contacts in your phone oh yeah yeah they no have, one remembers numbers yeah they have yeah. numbers attached to those but you don't really you might nope. remember i'm sure you know like phoenix's number some except yeah nicole's number is the only number i have right? yeah i know my, my mom's and i know phoenix's and i know a couple others yeah but i mean it's it's that's the advancement of technology right it's like it's it's, your it's brain, melting our brain well your brain doesn't need it anymore your yeah. brain your brain automatically edits out information that doesn't need anymore. It's a like, good organizer. You blink a thousand times a day. Do you notice when you blink for the most part? Every, Not really. Because your brain. damn time. Yeah. 
It's like, it feels like an eternity. Uh, there I am again, awake. Um, but your brain automatically edits out that information. Yeah. Like it just kind of snips it away, leaves it on the cutting room floor, and that, that happens a lot, especially when you get into a routine. You think about people like, um, they say they're in like uh, autopilot mode. It's because their brain just like, you, you don't need this information. Yes. Like you, you're, you're on your way home. You make, you make your way home after work. You don't need right. this info. Yeah. Right. So you don't remember how you got home. Just like, you know, I got home. Right. Sorry. So there it is. Got a little Vanessa Carlton stuck in my head there all of a sudden. You know, making my way downtown, <laughs> facing pass, and I'm homebound. I think I wanna, my brain edits a little another. heavy sometimes. You think? Yeah, it yeah. just like rips out entire pages rather oh, yeah. than just like oh, you know sentences here and there. No, I'm, I'm sure the cannabis has something to do with that. Right. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I was talking about my answering machine. Yes. So I was, I was, uh, I uh, <laughs> in high school, uh, I didn't like to go very often, so. I would miss class, and you'd get an unexcused absence phone call, right? So they'd ah. send out the, the automated phone call. Mm. So there'd be a message, your child missed one or more you know, school <laughs> classes <laughs> this week or today. So <laughs> at one point in high school, I think it was grade 11, either grade 11 or grade 12, I still had my line up in my room, and I did the sheet, the contact sheet at the beginning of the year. Oh, God. And I just put my number. Oh. That's right. They never even saw it coming. Never saw it coming. Wow. <laughs> and uh, that's why I barely got out of high school. <laughs> and unscathed. Uns- oh, yeah, absolutely. Look where I am now. <laughs> right? <laughs> Guys, where's everybody? Uh, barely stringing two sentences together. Um, so... That's uh, also on that on that line. I, I was one of those guys that had... Uh, uh, so the answering machine would pick up and be like, Hello? Hey, oh, how are you? God. Uh, <laughs> people still do that. Okay, I know they still do that, but I did that back in 1996. You originated it. Oh no, I didn't originate it. It was on oh, something else. It was oh, from something else. Oh, I can't remember what it was from, but yeah, that was one of the first. Well done. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I, <laughs> you know what? To be validated this far along is nice. Yeah, yeah. I think you're doing all right. <laughs> ah, that's good. All right. So uh, answering machines. That was a good break. <laughs> <laughs> Should we leave it there? I think so. Yeah. Hey, okay. if you still got an answering machine, don't call in. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Hey, it was early. What do you want from us? Mornings at the Cabin. Little William Prince, breathless for your Wednesday morning. Absolutely love that track. Still remember him playing on the uh, Cabin Radio stage. And I got all misty-eyed when he played this one. Oh, we all got missed. I think I think I, I'm not special. I'm not yeah. saying I'm special. I'm it was a perfect moment. I'm just trying to be vulnerable. That's all. It's a beautiful early Sunday afternoon. Oh my god, it was wonderful. That was, voice, god, just was, a guitar, incredible. Oh. And I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't just. And I'm going to go on for a second. It wasn't just like him, his voice, and his guitar, and how he sounded in the song. It was everything. Yeah. It was like this. This. This weekend, this culmination of this, all this hard work that we've all done, yep. coming together on this 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 place that now everybody gets to see, pretty incredible. Yeah, it was a perfect moment. It was, and he's sure. got a new album out uh, called Gospel First Nation. Just came out last week. Uh, check that out. We'll have uh, tracks from that playing through the playlist. As William Prince is, I think not. I mean, he's like our favorite. He's the cabin artist. I think he's the the, the featured artist forever. He, he flies our flag. Flies our flag. So, so we fly. There in. it is. He's still. I mean, That's we just send him hats. Yep. All the time. Wear cabin radio hats, and you'll get your music played. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty much how it works. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> Don't send us money. Just wear our merch. We trade for merch. Um, the big story on the top of the board this morning. Now. We don't have Ollie here to talk about it because he had a late soccer game last night, and mm-hmm. you know how I feel about the scheduling for rec sports. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. No. Game started at 10 15. Oh, my God. Like, give me a break. Man. Jeez. Even if you get up at a normal hour, yeah. which he doesn't, none of us do. We all get up before six. Um, even if you got up at a normal hour, went to work at, you did your nine to five, a 10 o'clock game is tough. Yep. That's you getting home after 11. If you want to shower and all that stuff too, like uh, before you go to bed, you're like you're up past midnight. Yep, for a yeah. soccer game. Yeah, let's not get into soccer. Um, okay, but so he had a late soccer game last night. You know, he's had a great week. He scored his he scored his first goal in 15 years. Yeah. Speaking of that, how did he play soccer last night? He could barely walk could the barely other day. Walk. Was I that know. just yesterday? Yeah, just like just Monday or yesterday. Yeah, uh, he, he well, his, his game was Sunday. He scored, and okay. then he had a game to last night and tonight. I think he's got a game too. 
Like an earlier game. And two days yeah. following yeah. the workout yeah. is always worse than the next day. Oh, of course. Of course. But I think his body bounced back from its severe damage it took yesterday. Now, again, we don't have Ollie here to talk about it, but um, it was on the top of the board last night. I came in to do uh, Broad Appeal with oh, nice. Emily Blake last night. We had a great time, and um, and uh, it was, a, it was a, a marathon. She just kept throwing stuff at me, and I was like, I know most of this stuff. I was going to say, it's only an hour-long show. What, I know. You just not stop talking? No, you don't stop talking for an hour. Oh, okay. It was great. Right. Um, so uh, thanks, for, thanks to Emily for that. But on the top of the board when I came in, Ollie pointed it out. He's like, you'll, you'll love this. And it just says, Ollie passes out at the flu clinic. And oh. I put all week under that because I was like, this is going on all week. You're not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. I wanted to get Sarah in to talk about it, but she's like, you know what? I want to talk about it with him. And yeah. I said, okay, that's fine. That's fine because she was there. Doesn't want to gossip. She cared for him. I, I, you know what? I do. Yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, wanna, that's what we do. I want to goss. Yeah. That's what I want to do. So. I want to sip. I hear he was out for, for like two hours. <laughs> I hear he passed out, and then like they couldn't wake him up, and they like had to put him out on the street and just like leave him there. I think that's what happened. And then he woke up and was yeah. like, "Where am I? Where am I?" And they were like, "You're you're at the the multiplex." And he was just like, "Oh, okay, we'll okay, back to yeah, that's right." And you know he what? Just I woke up on a pair hour. of skates out in Back Bay. What? What's going on? What's going on? You know how to skate now? <gasps> what? Whoa! Amazing. Uh, so. <laughs> We'll get him to tell it again tomorrow. Red, again, we're just talking around it. I did put up all week because I'm going to draw this out for the rest of the week. Yeah. I think. I want to yeah. get perspectives. I want to get analysis. Yeah. I want to get I want to get him talking about it. I want to get Sarah talking about it. I would pre- prefer it separately just so we can get, you know, they can't get their story straight before they come in. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. Because I want her to share maybe an embarrassing tidbit that maybe he didn't want to share with us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe like. Like a gotcha moment. Yeah. Maybe like farted while he was out or something. I don't know. Apparently don't know. he snored. So, oh, I mean that's, that's cute though. That's sustained farting that's... out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's fine. Just for everybody to know, he is fine. Yes, but uh, he just... got his flu shot yesterday. But he, what he did say uh, is that after this happened, he's like, "So you're getting yours, right?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll get mine. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. We'll get, we'll do that." Yeah. Um, I wish we could do a video. Obviously, we can't get in the in the clinic and do a video. I mean, unless they agree to it. Um, but I would, uh, yeah, I'd do that, but, uh, it was pretty hilarious Yeah, and, uh, we'll get the rest of the story tomorrow. Uh, but we just wanted to share with that, uh, with that because I, I can't, I couldn't keep it in. Yeah. I couldn't keep it in. So of course we were talking about it yesterday morning because it was his first flu shot ever. Ever. He was very excited. Yeah. Um, he was a little nervous because as he pointed out, he does Doesn't not like, like needles. Does not. Um, and I think he might've told us about, yeah, passing out one time before. Yeah. He has, he has fainted before. Yeah. He said fainted. I say I fainted. Out. Fainted sounds a little... Faint, it sounds a little more clinical. It, a sounds, less, deli- it sounds delicate. Yeah, it sounds less <laughs> like you're drinking. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> more right. like it was Whacked like, out. Yeah. <laughs> From the flu shot? No, no, no. He had four shots of tequila right before that. So, yeah, was, uh, and then he had his flu shot. It's just easier that But way. I mean, it's like they do say once you have it, they're like, hey, go sit down for five minutes just yeah. in case. Because yes. like every once in a while, people have an adverse reaction like he did. Yeah. Right? So, um, but don't take this to mean that we're anti-vax. No, absolutely <laughs> not. No. But there are there are reactions that you have. And I remember one of the... One of the uh, uh, vaccines I got, like your arm just hurt. My arm hurt yeah. for like a day. Sometimes you get bumps. You get bumps and, and bruises stuff, yeah. and stuff like that. So it happened. Yeah. Right. But so, yeah, he had been talking about it on the morning show, went off later in the morning to get his flu shot. Yeah. And for my, my witness statement, uh, <laughs> he got back <laughs> and without a word, just silently walked into Studio One while I was going about doing the rest of the morning. Yeah. And head hang low, head hung low, comes up to the whiteboard, picks up the marker, <laughs> solemnly writes, Ollie passes out oh at the Lord. flu clinic, That's puts the cat back on the marker, back on the ledge, head back down, walks back <laughs> out of the studio. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, uh, poor guy. Ollie, we love you. Uh, and we'll get the rest of the story tomorrow. And, uh, and then into Friday, we'll talk about it. And yes, Lecter and I will also get our flu shots, and if we can do a little video on it, we will. I'm getting mine today. Are you? No video. Oh, do you have to do you have to schedule it or can you just go in? Um, I think you should give them a call. Okay. And uh And you just and, go into primary care across from independent there? Uh, or? It's at the multiplex. It's actually. at the multiplex. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I don't know anything. Yeah. I don't know anything. I'm just gonna walk over there and say, <laughs> Give me it. <laughs> give, give me it. the flu. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm getting my flu shot tomorrow. Oh, there you go. I, I just actually checked my calendar. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, flu shots galore. We're buying into the business. Cabin Radio's morning show podcast. All the best chat, none of the embarrassing mistakes. Wheeler Electric with you on your Wednesday morning. Just uh, kind of passing the time, really. Uh, <laughs> mornings at the cabin. But we have two very, very special guests. Uh, they're celebrating their one-year anniversary as uh, hosts here at Cabin Radio. We got clams and moose in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Did you guys think you would we would stick around for a whole year? And yes. You guys no. Have a pool? If you if you if you had if you had left, I mean, we'd just be persona non grata at this point. We wouldn't even talk to you. I, I figured I figured you'd get our radio station shut down at some point, <laughs> which, yeah, which I mean, would have been kind of an easy out for us. That's right. It was like it wasn't even us. Yeah, it wasn't even but, it was them. So I guess yeah. that's Clams the end of that. Yeah. And to be honest, we've all been looking for a way out since the beginning. So. <laughs> well, all made a comment when something happened with the program. He had to come in and say, it "Was like, has this ever happened before?" He's like, "No, but Clams and Moose always find something." To <laughs> well, that means really, well. yeah, it's great. <laughs> We're like, we didn't do anything. We just came in. He's no, it, like, te- it teaches us new things. That's right. Yeah. Every yeah. show Clams teaches us something moves. new. It's like, yeah. what'd you do this time? I lost my file. Okay, where'd you, where'd you lose it? No idea. All right. Great. Our Good Wednesday, luck finding that. Our Wednesday night guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're going to We're gonna you test on your out. Toe. Yeah, let's yeah. throw this to Clams and Moose and see what happens. <laughs> that's right. Test out all this equipment. Uh, the girls uh, got it. The girls got it. That's, that's right. right. That's yeah. right. I, you know what? I, I'm just, just right off the bat here, I can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, point your mics towards your faces. <laughs> Not really. No, it's a little. It's a little testing. Testing. There testing, we go. Because they are. Go. They they do pick up from everywhere. But you got to speak straight into. It. Well, rookies. Normally, rookie normally, with state. normally we're in the hot seats. I guess. That's right. That's right. Now you're you're not. I've got you turned way down. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so one year doing the shows. Uh, uh, catch the the latest episode of Climbs Moose tonight, seven yeah. to nine. Um, and uh, you got a special guest on. Uh, do you want to talk about that? You got a special guest on for tonight. No. No? Well, <laughs> well, we do. No. We have. No. Okay. Okay. Special, oh, is that, were you recording for next week? Yeah. yeah. Oh, last yeah. night? Okay, pardon me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. But we will have our producer in the yes, studio so with us tonight. Guest. Yeah. Oh, oh well, you great. You can't really call him a guest. No, he's just, he's part of our crew. It'll yeah, just be a lot of groaning in the background? Or does yeah. he act, yeah. you actually interview him? Um, He chimes in whenever yeah. he, he chimes in. No, that's not how you do that. Yeah. Stop pushing that button. Yeah. AJ, special guest. Well, and we're doing a special call-in show. Just because, like, given with, you know... COVID rules and whatnot, that yeah. uh, instead of having guests, we're just going to get people to call in and to chat with us. We got our fact checker over yeah. in Hay River. He's got the top five facts he's had to look up for us this <laughs> past top year. Five. <laughs> top five facts. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to discuss that. And yeah. <laughs> Is there any context to these I was going to say, you're going to give us a preview of one of these facts? facts the world. Well, Clams, a, there's a lot of them. Yeah, Clams and I like to think we know what we're talking about most of the time. Yeah, so totally. And we're like, well, I think that's what it is. I, well, let's get our fact checker to check. No, I like that. Uh, professional and, podcasts have that as well. I yeah. think we're very open-minded, though. We're honest yeah. that we don't, you know, we're not a 100% or even yeah. 60%. We always <laughs> yeah. like, well, we think. Yeah. Let's that's, get our fact checker on that. That, is, skill yeah. check that is better than me. I just speak with us. confidence. The <laughs> The confidence... Of a mostly white man. We just take time out, you know, 15 <laughs> seconds of dead air to look it up on Google. That's right. I mean, exactly. You know. We've got that privilege here yeah. uh, in, in the morning show because we can right. do 10 or 15 minute breaks. That's right. Yeah. No one's air checking this. <laughs> but do you have a fact checker? We, no. no. Well, no. That's Ollie. That's Ollie. Ollie. Ollie, Ollie, yeah. Ollie. Yeah. Ollie. Ollie yeah. might pop his head in and be like, no. Nope. I'm like, eh. Yeah. Fair enough. When Ollie looks disappointed, it means we've <laughs> we've made up a lie. Yeah. <laughs> or if he legitimately says what you just said back to you and then corrects you as he's saying it, like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I totally messed that up. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's been one year. How many shows have you done, though? Like, you haven't done one every week, but how many shows? No, I, you know what? I actually well, went we, to go back and, and count. Um, we haven't missed many. So yeah, we're, we're, we're on weekly. Two weeks in a year. 52 weeks in a year. That's yeah. right. That, and that's I know a, we definitely, get the fact checker yeah, on that. And I know we definitely <laughs> missed <laughs> some posts, uh, probably at least four, I okay. think, all together. Maybe yeah. one or two more. Yeah. There was the whole like mid pandemic lockdown thing. Yeah, yeah. We, we did pretty good. We got, yeah, 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 you did, did really yeah, well. You it off. Plowed yeah. through. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and did we recorded remotely or not? Rec- yeah, recorded. I guess we yeah. recorded remotely over Skype, and that was interesting. Difficult. Not being yeah. able to because we realized that we rely very much so on our our looking at each looking and just gotta, like the the eyes. Yeah. The sure eyes that. like shh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gotta so share just, that energy. That's yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So it's like recording blind, anyways. So. But yeah, no, I, I don't think there really was any weeks because it was like, well, 
we're not really doing anything. We have no excuse <laughs> not to do the show, so we got to. Like, That's right. You know, yeah, our yeah. fans are depending on us That's right. to bring them trivia. Absolutely. We tri- yeah, we, we dabbled oh, yeah, into right. trivia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, some yeah, hard-hitting yeah. interviews. We played yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. Pretty awesome. We're, we're hurting for trivia now. Yeah. We need it. Yeah. Well, we had to put trivia on hold for a little bit because it got very intense. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Especially it can be stressful. I know I yelled at you once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> there was sure one. It was just like <laughs> nobody knows the answers to any of these, and you, you guys are like, oh, everyone else did really well. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, like, or like, what right. are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. Like, yeah, we we learned some things. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I think we'll we will do some trivia again. Yeah, totally. for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We're but, not we're not saying we won't, but I mean we did it in the hardest way of pre recording and then yeah, yeah, yeah. doing it on and, the show. And, and then hoping people don't Google it. They just yeah, yeah. 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 there was no mistakes. <laughs> That's right. And if we did we have to like mid like fix it in the middle of the show and be like ah just kidding (laughs) (laughs) well i mean you guys uh you you two have had a a great run for the year and a a diverse kind of program i mean you've you had the trivia shows you've had these up close and personal ones that like i did one of them ollie did one of them did you get to do one i have not no they did not invite you not yet not yet dot 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 that's right okay so those those were a lot of fun we did like I think we did like three and a half hours and yeah. cut it down oh, yeah. to two. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So, I mean, you guys have been doing di- a bunch of different things with your show, and it's been a lot of fun to hear. Thanks. It's been yeah. a lot of fun to do. It Good. has. Only been a few times where we're like, what are we going to do? It's tomorrow. we got to send Ollie the promo. Oh, man, that is that is every morning here at the morning show. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I, come in, like, I almost had a brekkie penalty today because I came in at 6.59 oh, 30 yeah. seconds. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And if you come in after that, Brecky Penny, you got to buy the whole place breakfast. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's part of it. Jeez, so that would have been me this morning. Then. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah, where, where's, our, where's, our like, where's, yeah where's our coffee? Yeah, where's our coffee? I did breakfast. tell you guys you, know, you had to bring coffee. I know. And you know what? Huh? I was going to. What? I got stuck behind the school bus this morning. Oh, oh, wow. I know. In real life. Oh, and I was like trying to click so I could see it coming around. I was like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Like trying to get everything on and out so that I didn't have it. I got stuck. Stops every wow. twenty seconds. Yeah. You still beat and me it, here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I, I gotta say, clams. I'm so surprised you're here. On time. <laughs> so, on time? Yeah. Or that I wasn't on time. Well, I'm yeah, usually you were on, on time. time. You got here before we started. Yeah. So you're on so time. There you go. No, it's yeah. been Sarah that's had the pre-show adventures in the past. That's true. Where is it? You, uh, you were at the. Oh, you locked your keys inside your car one oh, time yeah. on the way to a show. Yeah. Uh, I feel <laughs> like there was something else that went on. And it was running. And even. it was running. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it was middle of the summer. I don't know what was wrong. With another time, your, sea- your seaweed <laughs> shoes melted, and you had to get another pair of shoes. Yeah. You're yep. wearing seaweed shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, I am. They're light. <laughs> they okay? I'm sure they are. <laughs> Super comfortable as well. Um, I, so I put something together yes. for you two. I, nice. I, I wanted to, I know you wanted to find your first show and cause that's always fun to, you know, look back at where you've come from and what you were talking about in your very first show and how you sounded. Did, did you end up finding yeah, I that think, audio? I didn't look at it yet, but AJ gave me something. Okay. Yeah. So I, I look back and the, the, the earliest, uh, full show I could find was from, uh, from December, December Ooh, of 2019. That's pretty fresh. So I started uh, listening fresh. to that. You're well, like fresh. Well, I mean, fresh we into started? our new show. Oh, freshly in. Oh, I see. Yes. yes. Okay. Very. Yes. Good. So I started giving it a listen. You, you guys hit this one so beautifully. Oh God. Right oh off God. the. Head. I'm not even being sarcastic. Oh, good. It was one of your best intros ever. You like came in. Oh, um, and, no, I know but, that's a lie. No, it was so good. But I'm not going to play the intro because that's not the funny part. Um, but uh, so I put a few things together. Two of them are trivia questions, and one I think was just a uh, like a very a very beautiful clams and moose conversation oh. so no, I'm cringing already so the first, one, the first one is a little bit of trivia of course uh regular listeners of clams and moose know that karaoke is a reoccurring fixture on the show he'll yep. often come out of songs singing the chorus <laughs> absolutely right, yeah. and uh can't so wait for ourselves. karaoke to come back we gotta go for karaoke yeah. so this is Heard a perfect example the first one uh and i want you to uh tell me what song were you singing here yo 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 uh, the <laughs> <laughs> what song was that? What the song police. Was... Yeah. And the song title? Don't stand so close to me. No. No, I think it's Yo Yo Yo. Yo Isn't that the song yo, song? I think that's yo, the song yo, title. Yo. Yo. <laughs> 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 
The Police, yes. <laughs> yes. Song title. song title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a hint. Your show theme for that night was Full Moon. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, Hungry Like the Wolf. <laughs> no. Not a police song. Yeah. Police's cover of Bark at the Moon. <laughs> one more time. This, this, one more time. Yo, 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 yo. Class is crying right now. <laughs> it says the song fades out. That's what you hear. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I don't know that song title. Walking on the Moon. Walking on the Moon. Of course. Mm. Of course. Okay, so the next clip, the next clip I think was just, uh, just just you'd having a very, very general clams and moose type on-air conversation. Here we go. What do you think about Neil Young? Would you go on a date with him? (laughs) Well, for one thing, he's like very old. Not the most handsomest, but you know who would go on a date with him? My mom. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, she met him and got all googly eyed and was like, oh, Neil. She does have good taste in men. <laughs> that she does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, old Rihanna. How did she meet him? Um, when he played the concert, was it in Calgary or. Yeah, when he did that, like one of his latest shows there, um, benefit shows. They went and saw him. My parents met him. I have his autograph, actually. Signed one of my t-shirts. Oh, really? That's true. Very cool. I'm a little bit jealous. Would you date him? I would definitely go on a date with him for sure. (laughs) Big pause. I love the way you put that. Go on a date. (laughs) An a date. One. Romantic. Romantic. (laughs) But you know what? It's Neil Young, of course. (laughs) Yes. The answer is yes. It's not beating around the bush here. 100%. Yeah. Clams is into it. Clams and Neil. Got a ring. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and so the last clip is another uh, trivia clip of sorts. It features Sarah talking about her favorite band from Ooh. back in the day as she was about to introduce a song. And uh, you just have to guess the band. Bobby I've been trying to get these guys in the lineup ever since we started, and I just haven't had the right opportunity. Now, that's not my favorite song by them, but these guys, when I was little, were my absolute favorite. I used to listen to them on tape, my mom's, that my mom had, and for my 12th birthday, I got my very first um, CD boombox. Now, here comes the, the big clue. And I was shocked. <laughs> That they made. I was like, oh my God, I didn't know that they made such old music on CDs. <laughs> I mean, you know, it was, wasn't a. I, who knew? I was stoked, though. I didn't have to listen to it on tape anymore. I could listen to it on a compact disc. <laughs> That's a great story, Moose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the band. Who it was Moose talking about? I know. Well, you know. Oh, tape. I don't think Clams would, would remember. Rock set? Yeah. That's no. what I was thinking, but no, it's the birds. The birds. The birds. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know they put old music on <laughs> yeah. CDs. When he first started talking, when I was like, oh, it's probably like Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch or something. That's then, definitely yeah, he her favorite into a band. Bird yeah. song. Yeah. yeah. Name, name another Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch song. Oh, I, lots of people know the whole back catalog, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Celebrate the entire catalog. <laughs> I couldn't name another song if I tried. Okay, New Kids on the Block. Well, hanging tough. Does that work? Hanging tough, step by step. <laughs> Either uh, way, did not expect the birds to be the answer, <laughs> but I was very delighted by that. And uh, that's all I got for you. Well, that what, was awesome. That was amazing. Yeah. That yeah. Was nice really little retrospective. Yeah. You. What's your favorite God. bird song? Oof. Well, I mean, that whole, like, the greatest hits album, is that that's the one I was talking about. Yeah. Um, front to back, the whole thing. No, yeah, fair enough. What, yeah. I wonder what episode that was, that our theme was. It was, the uh, it, was, it was all full moon. That was all from one episode. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great oh, episode. Wow, that was... Oh, yeah, space, yeah. It was probably Space <laughs> Yeah, you I was gonna, were on I was, fire that night. So, yeah, so kind of a, a lazy space retrospective. Man. Yeah. Pick from one episode. Basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's too much to listen to. That was a good episode. That was good, I yeah. wanted to do more, but then I got kicked out of both studios by you guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there you, you go. Did, you, done, you done good. Oh, oh thank you. You, you were able to. That was so great. <laughs> Uh, it's been a whirlwind year. Obviously, uh, it's been uh, a, a weird one, and you, and uh, you two have made made the adjustments and, and kept doing the show, and it's been been wonderful. Uh, I'm not going to say you're our best hosts, but you're certainly not our worst. So. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, I just don't want to say you're our best because there's a, a lot of people that uh, also work for us. You know, totally. we're all equal here. Absolutely. Yeah.
That's right. We all get an equal share. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, tell us a little bit more about. Uh, we won't. You don't want to ex- expose who your special guest is next week. It's a good one. Yeah, because we don't know exactly when we're going to play it yet. Oh, okay, that's why. So. All right, fair enough. Um, but it's it's a it's good. It's a good. Gooder. It's a good. Yeah, no, like, good. We actually have a couple more um, celeb artists ooh. from Yellowknife that are going to come on the show <laughs> later on. I think this is actually so. So Moose is um, <clears throat> always exploring guest options, mm-hmm. and yeah. so she's been putting out into the uh, the celebrity universe um, <laughs> some signals. Maybe you can talk about that. Yeah, well, especially during COVID, because I was like, nobody's doing anything right now. We're all at home. Uh, so I started sending out uh, messages on Instagram to different, you know, celeb <laughs> celebrities. Yeah, out yeah. There. Oh, like, like, like not just in Yellowknife. No, no. Oh, no, I see. Yeah. Oh, wow. Why don't you tell us about a few? Yeah. Moose? yeah. So one of the first ones I reached out to had listened to a podcast. He, Kanye West. He did with um, Oprah, and I was like, oh my god, this guy is amazing. He's not just all. He's not just a muscle guy and good looks. He is something. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> The Rock. The Rock, the yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> nice one. So, you know, I wrote up a big, like, spiel of, like, who we are, where we live, and we were yeah, yeah. like, come on, like, we'd love to have you on the show. You're we for, like, 10, 15 minutes, like, yeah, anything yeah. you could spare. Uh, still waiting to hear back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Send it again. Yeah. I did, and I was like, hey, The Rock, can I call you that? Hey, The Rock. <laughs> I was like, Hello, Mr. Rock. <laughs> yeah, like, Hello, Mr. The Rock. <laughs> uh, I tried uh, Justin Timberlake. Jimmy Fallon, still checking my emails. No response. No, nothing, jerks, nothing, nothing. Oh. But you know, they're busy. Yeah. They are a little busy. Yeah. That's right, yeah. I and, mean, The Rock would be great. Yeah. Well, what were you, then, yeah, with The Rock, you were saying. So then, yeah, so lot, like two weeks ago now, I was on Instagram and noticed he is the most followed yeah. man in America. Really? Like, yeah. 200 million followers. Good this guy Lord. has more than anyone. And yeah. I was like. No wonder he hasn't written me back yet. <laughs> I still go through this other 200 yeah. million emails. Wow. Everybody's trying to get him on their podcast. 200 million. Oh, yeah. 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 He's the it most followed insane. person on the planet. Like He's the biggest star on the planet right now. Right. Who knew? Right? He's like, yeah. He's al- he's almost in like, uh, for like being known around the planet, like a Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan uh, level almost. Right. I still don't even know who the wow. guy is, really, to be <laughs> honest. Oh, for God's Dwayne sake. Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> And everyone was like, you could have called him Dwayne. I'm if like, you smell what The Rock yeah. is cooking. <laughs> Do you? Well, she doesn't. She doesn't smell You it. don't smell it. No, no. Clams, moose, and rock. She's got, she's got nose rock. blind. <laughs> I know who he is. Nose oh. blind to The Rock. So, um, well, thank you for coming in this morning. I mean, always a pleasure to have you. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. I, I love when, I, when I, I'm, I'm here on the evenings that you guys are recording and I just like pop in. Yeah. I love the pop in. I love that. Yeah, yeah, we do love the pop in. Scott, you, you should pop yeah. in more often. All right, I'll yeah. give it a shot. He does <laughs> message us though. And I do. Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, you listen. Thank I do you listen. for listening. That's right. Yes. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm a listener. I don't want to be on the show. I want to listen to what you two have to say. True. Oh. Yeah. I'll go with that. <laughs> 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 and you entertain the hell out of me. So oh, that's right. Good. Yeah. No. Tonight's show should be uh, a fun one. Always I'm interesting. Seven to awesome. nine. Seven, Seven to nine, nine tonight. Our, New time. Yeah, our winter hours. Winter hours. Mm-hmm. Back to the hibernating hours. Mm-hmm. Seven to nine on Wednesdays, Clams and Moose celebrating their one year anniversary with tonight's show featuring AJ coughing and grunting in the background. <laughs> and kind of just kind of going, ugh. <laughs> it's going to be a gutter. It is. Come and, come and surf and turf with us. Yeah. There you go. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Congratulations on being uh, uh, being here one year. Do we get a pin or something? No. Or is there uh, like, do we get a plaque? No. This is this is this is your plaque. Like, this is your pen? twenty oh, minute break. We just did <laughs> celebrating your one year anniversary. We're apparently CBC Radio One now, so uh, this is what we're doing. So that's your that's your pin. That's your plaque. Okay. Woo! Thank <laughs> it. Uh, but thank you for consistently uh, putting in great work and uh, putting on a good show. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Listen for it tonight, the one-year anniversary show tonight at 7, Clams and Moose, the Surf and Turf, cabinradio.ca. Check it out. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Megan Brackenberry joins us uh, to talk uh, her perspective on Ollie passing out. Uh, if you joined us a little earlier on, we found out yesterday that Ollie, while getting his flu shot, just fainted right there in the uh, right there in the yeah, office. Fainted. We're going to get the full story from him tomorrow morning. But for uh, rapid, uh, rampant speculation and uh, a perspective from someone who wasn't there, we have Megan Brackenberry. Hello, hello. Hello. I love being uh, 
I'm the person to go to for unqualified opinions. That's things. right. That's <laughs> just, you're, you're se- <laughs> yeah, yeah. Senior fainting correspondent Megan Bradbury. <laughs> Um, you weren't there, but you no. have uh, you have your own story, yes. uh, and this is this is what good news does. That's we talk right. around the subject, bring in people who have experienced something kind of similar, right? Mm-hmm. To right. get some perspective. Yeah, yeah. And we relate. We yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And then speculate. We massive speculation. Um, Jump to conclusion. Uh, uh, yeah, that's like, the way like, to do it. Like you said, yeah. he, he fainted. He passed out for two hours. Crazy. Yeah. I mean. Scary. Ooh, that's a lot. That's near death. <laughs> that's just dying. <laughs> that's just dying. He just died. <laughs> he came back. Wow. So Ollie's a zombie now. Uh, well, no, he's not a zombie. Uh, it is the season. Yes. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Christmas. Um, <laughs> Christmas <laughs> zombies. Uh, Megan, you wanted to share with us, uh, share with us a story that uh, of you uh, fainting because I've never fainted. Hmm. We talked about this. Yes. I don't think I've ever fainted. Definitely had the head rush where you had to like sit down yeah. again and be like, oh. Oof. But never actually passed out. Hmm. I, I mean, I've passed out, but we'll get into that. But uh, I don't think I've ever fainted from, like, trauma or anything like that. Trauma? Well, I mean, Whoa. you know, I mean, the, 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 it's not necessarily, it's necessarily it? like trauma. It's a, a small T trauma. Where it's Fear. Like, yeah, I guess. But That's your bo- what I would your, call but, it. Your, but basically what happened with him is, like, he got the needle and his body was like, whoa, easy, <laughs> cowboy. What the maybe just, heck was that? Yeah, maybe just ah. rest for a couple of minutes. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot to take. A little prick in the arm. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> it's too much about to the bear. word prick, <laughs> even in the right context. <laughs> it's just good stuff. Uh, a stiff breeze blows Ollie over. Um <laughs> Uh, so Megan, you want to share your your story here, and maybe we can get yes. some, maybe from that we can, we can mm-hmm. kind of extrapolate to make sense what happened. Of all this. Yeah, we make yeah. sense of this crazy story. Yes. So let me set the scene. Yes. It's a cold, stormy winter night. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was stormy, but it was cold and probably snow. Stormy. It's probably snow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just have a thought. In southern Ontario, I oh, ooh, the, scary the worst place the worst in the place world. you could think of spookiness to, the to have this happen. <laughs> And I, so obviously I'm from Perth, Ontario. There's no place to like get vaccinations in Perth because we just don't believe in vaccinations. We don't in believe Perth. in it. We're a town of anti vaxxers <laughs> <laughs> That's our town motto. That's right. <laughs> don't yeah. get vaccinated. No, anyways. Yeah. The, the sign on Perth, the, the welcome to Perth sign is, uh, or the slogan on it is, uh, yeah, bring them all in. Bring all your diseases. Home of the herd. <laughs> 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 Needles will kill you. No, but we've got <laughs> uh yeah, so we go to Carlton Place and this is also a very southern Ontario thing. There's a medical clinic in the grocery store. So we go to that. Already suspect. But anyways, it was a legitimate <laughs> medical clinic. So we won't speculate on that. We go. So I'm going to be traveling soon, so I had to get a bunch of different shots. So uh. I had to get like Hep B, Hep A. I think I, no, I didn't get rabies. That's definitely not true. I didn't get the rabies shot, but I had to get like tetanus or something like that. Anyways. Okay. We'll get AJ in for the rabies shot uh, analysis. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. And I, like, it was the first shot that I could remember, like, going to get. Mm. So I was petrified. Like, I was so scared. I was like, oh my God, like, this is the biggest procedure I have had done in a while. Procedure. Yeah, I know. It's not a procedure <laughs> at all. Where were you traveling? Uh, I was traveling to Guatemala. Okay. For two weeks yeah, okay. so with my dad. So, um, And he had just gone, so he didn't have to get any of the shots. So That's it was right, mostly yeah. just like a point and laugh at Megan time. And <laughs> we go, <laughs> like the whole, like my mom and my dad, like it was a whole thing. And I was like petrified. And uh, we get there and during it, like I'm sure the doctor thought we were crazy because during the shot, um, I was singing like, I think I was singing like sunshine and lollipops. It's sweet. Like I was trying to like <laughs> yeah. cheer myself yeah. up. Yeah, and then yeah. my mom beside me was being like, oh, that's a big needle. Oh, oh, oh here it goes. Here it oh goes. My- oh, it's going. <laughs> oh my Lord. It's not helping, mom. Oh, man. No, I know. Oh, man. Like, this looks like it's going to hurt. She was like, ooh, ah, ooh, like purposely trying mom, to trip me out. Geez, and I'm like the- singing about lollipops. <laughs> like we were just freaking insane. Like it was too much. You're the youngest, right? I'm the youngest. Yeah. So you're the forgotten child. We've I'm, already established yes. this, that your your mother has like, y- your parents have like special relationships with your siblings that you're left out of. What? <laughs> have, have we established that? Established this? <laughs> I am definitely the favorite. Let me okay. put that on fair record. Enough. Yeah, fair enough. I am 100% the favorite child, and my you, siblings would agree. Can okay. you tell a story where like, they had something special going on? It was, or was that Sibley? That's am probably I, Sib. Am I mixing up, mixing up the, uh, the young be. reporters? Yeah. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Sibley has the like, youngest child syndrome. Where oh, she thinks that is. she yeah, was right. 
No, we did establish that I always got the crappiest room and sat in the crappiest seat in the car and stuff. But oh, yeah. You're, you're the, the youngest. youngest. Yeah, the youngest, and I also didn't have a hissy fit like my siblings. But anyways, we're getting, we're getting off track. <laughs> we're getting off track. This okay. is not about them. This is about me. Um, <laughs> they, uh, anyways, yeah, so we come out. My mom's at the desk, like, I don't know, signing, like, for my next shot or something like that because I had to come back in a couple weeks. And I was just standing beside her, and I all of a sudden started to feel, like, kind of sick to my stomach. And I was like... <laughs> Oh, mom, I don't feel good. And she was like, looking at the clipboard. Okay. You don't feel good now. Wait till this next. I know, minute. literally. Well, because <laughs> the next time left. I had to get two shots. I only had to get one shot the first time, two shots the second, and another on the third time. But anyways, so I go to sit down because she's like, "Oh, just go sit down." So I go sit down, and I pass out on my way to the chair oh. and fall face first into the chair. Oh uh, no! My butt in the air, <laughs> oh. and I just like. Boot and coats on, and then yeah, the next thing I remember, I was like lying on my back. They had laid me down on like the chairs, yeah. And she was like, the nurse was holding my feet up, and I thought she was trying to take my boots off because I was still out of it. So I was like trying to take all my clothes off, and she's like, no, <laughs> okay, no, no. She's like, this is not what we're doing. <laughs> and I got juice, and then I just felt. Uh, we went to Subway after. I was sorry, I felt really cool actually. I was yeah. like, <laughs> everybody cared about badge you there for of a honor. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, wow. But passing out. Oh, also, all this should be said with the caveat that I was twelve. <laughs> I was a youngin. I was not I old. See. Okay. Yes. Okay. I was gonna say, see, uh, Ollie. Yeah, a lot of people go through this when they it get happens these needles. To everyone. She was yeah. twelve. <laughs> I was a bebe. <laughs> Yes. Uh, well, I, thank yeah. you for sharing uh, a harrowing yeah. story. I can sympathize. It's it's tough. It haunts me at night, but uh, I've done some extensive therapy and gone through it. So. And you were also 12. Yeah. And I was 12, yeah, so I right like back. instantly yeah. forgot it and yeah. went and played Wii. So. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So a harrowing story from Megan. We could talk to, to AJ about his needle experience with getting the rabies vaccine and how many uh, how many needles he took. I don't think he passed out at all. I don't think so, so I mean, no. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well. These, uh, the, the story continues throughout the week. All he passes out at the flu clinic. We'll be back with more analysis tomorrow and uh, maybe even include Ollie in one of these conversations <laughs> so he can give his perspective on the entire thing. Megan, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, you can hear her coming up on the news here in just a couple of minutes. Uh, that's going to do it for uh, Mornings at the Cabin for this day. I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.